This is my quick hello to everyone, and good morning to those who aren't up yet. It's a beautiful morning outside. It is 8.47 a.m. It is getting on to 9 a.m. It is a very beautiful day, except there's snow. And it's April. Usually it doesn't snow in April. I guess we have weird weather. It could be due to climate change. Now, that's the subject I want to talk to you about is climate change, how we can change it. We can always clean our environment up and make it eat for people, you know, who like to clean their environment. On the news front today, Diomed 081 won. He's our, our lucky winner of the talk show today. Diomed 081, come claim your prize. You just won a hotel. Next, Let's get on to business. I'm in my uh, studio this morning. Uh, I'm in recording mode, so my viewers can hear you. That was uh, my dad wishing everyone a good morning. So wish him good morning. That is Diomed081. Let's say good morning to him. Good morning, Diomed081. Now that you wish me good morning. And good morning, Sparkalina. That's my cat. She's a Siamese cat. I have two cats and a puppy. So I have two beautiful pets. They're very friendly. I love only female pets. I have three girl pets now. And our house has three girls and one guy, which is my dad. He's the only man. Uh, only one man of the house, that's all we need, and the rest are all girls. This is like an all girl group. This is beautiful. But let's talk logic about climate change. Climate change is when the weather has changed a bit. Some summers may be warmer than usual, you may get the odd blast. How do we prevent uh, weather from causing forest fires and that? How will we prevent forest fires? A, another way of preventing forest fires, always have a fire permit if you're going to have a campfire in your backyard, if you have permission to do so. But if there's been forest fires, I wouldn't bother with campfires in the backyard unless you have a fire permit and always you need a fire permit from the city that's what me and my dad use if we have one but since the weather's been a little off and you know the global warming I don't think it's that safe I'm not sure but I heard something about too much um, fire Forest fires are very dangerous and they're very common in the summer. I don't know much. Uh, I read about them on the news sometimes. Yeah, we're talking about climate change. Another thing that could happen 60 million years, and we're 660,000 uh, and 40 million years overdue for another volcano eruption, and we're talking about super volcanoes. The most threat of a super volcano would be the Yellowstone Park super volcano. If that erupts, that will cause mass destruction. Uh, a long time ago, there was a village con called Pompeii, and about 2 million people died. In because of a volcano eruption. We would uh, have no way of stopping this super volcano, the Yellowstone volcano. There is no way to stop. It sits on a big rock of sleeping ground and it's huge. And if that thing erupts and one day it's going to blow, but it's going to blow, and one day we're going to have to uh, do nothing about it because scientists say when the Yellowstone volcano erupts, there is no way of stopping it. 
We can't control it. We have no control over it. So it will control us if that happens. We hope not. So for those of you out there, have a nice Sunday and enjoy the day.